Now let's share the SSD data recovery. Actually, nowadays many SSD failures are in fact unrecoverable because of the, the remapping tables get trashed. The metadata is effectively randomized and mixed up with blocks with which were marked as corrupted or unusable even before the SSD failed. We all know that the biggest problem of SSD is the encryption. Most SSD is encrypted. So let's share some facts of SSD. SSD data recovery is being developed as the SSD technologies grows. Second, the cost and recovery time from SSDs can vary dramatically depending on the manufacturer and specific parameters of the device. Third, SSD manufacturers, they are trying to increase the storage capacity and also reliability with new firmware, different rear leveling algorithms and controllers, and revised PCB layout. SSD, I think this is easy, very easy to understand. It is very different like the hard drives. So if you just want to recover data from the SSD, you need to desolder the chips one by one from the SSD and perform the image one by one. And then you need to assemble the individual chip images into a single drive image and finally extract the data. So that is why SSD data recovery is so time consuming. For example, if your SSD contains 16 chips, you need to perform six times of chip image. And then you must learn how to combine the data from each image. This is why it is very time consuming and costly. Now with no information about how the data is stripped across the memory chips, the only option is manually find the key file structure indicators and use those indicators to reassemble the data. All the SSD data recovery tools that are available in the market use such kind of traditional SSD data recovery technologies. At least so far, that's the fact. How about the future of SSD data recovery? In my opinion, I don't see good points in the near future of SSD data recovery because not many people are afford to save thousand dollars for data recovery even if the SSD sales prices come down like the hard drives. Except the following happens. I mean, if some, I mean, one of the following three happens, then SSD data recovery will expect a good future. First, different SSD manufacturers can follow some kind of manufacturing standards and have their design more stable like hard drives. Second, SSD manufacturers and data recovery companies or data recovery equipment suppliers like sufficient data, like some SMAP, they can share some positive and proprietary technical information about each SSD with detailed knowledge of the device flash translation layer, the firmware, the controller, and the UCC implementation. The biggest problem for SSD recovery, encryption. So even the SSD encrypted, only if the SSD manufacturers can share such kind of information, then we can fix the encryption problem of SSD. Third, new technologies and SSD recovery tools to be created for damaged SSD. So Salvation Data is planning for chip socket reading eight chips each time. This is one of the new flash data recovery or an SSD data recovery equipment. Now we're working on those. Now the third hot discussed topic is the encryption data recovery. So whether it's hard drive data recovery, SSD, or other kind of storage meters, one of the best secured method to use your data is the encryption. However, this very safety device, which is what 
proves a stick in porn is the event of a hardware software failure. It is essential, consequently, for companies to include data disaster recovery within their information management strategy as a matter of course. So whether you are individual users, companies, governments, and all other kind of organizations, they pay more attention to the encryption.